I've got a tip today for my friends that use shellac for doing French polish. Uh, this is something that I've been doing for a pretty good while. I tend to use um, Plantina Blonde Bleach Shellac. Uh, it comes in a crystalline form and usually I find the fastest way to really get it into solution is to end up using a coffee grinder so that you end up putting the shellac flakes in there, basically turn it to a really fine powder before I introduce it into uh, an ethanol. Uh, I tend to use Everclear for the base for most of mine, but even at that point for making the shellac to get it into solution can take days um, or longer with quite a bit of stirring going on. So I was wondering about trying to do a faster method, and I remember working with some laboratory equipment uh, using magnetic stirrers. And so I wanted to build something for the shop to speed up the, the mix time. And I came up with using a um, computer fan, which is a 12 volt. You can pick these up at different locations used for three or four dollars. Clip it off, and um, and so I came up with um, this method for stirring. And basically, what I have going on here is the 12 volt fan, and then I've built a a plate to sit on top of it. Inside of the plate. On top of the computer fan, you can see that I attached two rare earth magnets centered over the fan. And then if you go to a um, hobby shop that deals with uh, model railroads, you can get a transformer. And there is a DC out on these transformers and there's an AC out. Most of the fans are direct current DC. So I hook it up to that, and the transformer will control the speed of the thing, which is really important. Because once you start adding in the stir that you're going to use, and the stir is on the inside of your beaker. And you can get magnetic stirs uh, at laboratory supplies. What I've used here is just a quarter inch uh, registration pen and get it so that it's aligned on top of the magnets and then just start your rheostat off at a relatively low speed. I find that that most of the speeds that the um, these fans turn at is way higher than what you would want uh, to be using inside of the thing. So you really need to drop the the speed and the voltage down on it. But you can get a really nice vortex of stirring action. Put your shellac in there. If you're using resins, which are much slower to mix, you can drop those in in a liquid form and uh, get it put together pretty quick. A typical flask like this at a lab is going to run you about $15. If you go to IKEA, they make a plunge coffee pot uh, that they sell for about nine dollars. Take the flask out of it, throw away the rest of the parts, and you've got enough space in here to hold uh, a liter of ethanol or Everclear, and um, it's great for mixing. Anyway, it's cheap. You've got about four dollars into the fan, uh, about. Eight dollars into uh, the beaker, and the rheostat. Uh, I ended up picking up a used one for about three or four dollars from a hobby shop. Uh, it's a great uh, setup; works really well. You might give it a try if you're using shellac.